You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 259, posted September 2020. Senor Wences, no! Hello, nerds. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. It's me, your favorite nerd. Take that, other nerds. Tony Sindelar here, <laughs> running some Dungeons & Dragons with some other almost as good, but apparently not as favorited nerds. We are continuing the adventures of Dragon Forges & Associates, still in Undermountain, still in this horrible series of rooms I have concocted, filled with keys and half keys, and lots of discussions about what what is a key really a key? Uh, allow me to introduce our players, roughly in order of initiative. Uh, first off, it's Steve Lutz. Hey, Tony, how's it going? It's okay. Good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Playing a little so D&D. you uh, running a character today? Um, yeah, but this is the third hour where I pretend I'm not on a podcast about D and D. Oh, how are your feelings? You're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, nice. I'm actually playing a Lestrin Quiverbottom. <laughs> Guys, I talk to humans all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at life. Um, also here. Oh, no. Oh, the thin veneer that was keeping Dungeon Tony from reality has washed away. Uh, and there's nothing left. Um, also here. It's Erica inside. Hi, Erica. Hi, I am playing Flessa, the human rogue who would really like to find something shiny because that last thing was just a key and that's a little boring. Uh, I am also filling in for Georgia and playing Acrid Torin Balisar, the dragonborn warlord. Speaking of Monty, it's Monty Ashley. Hi, it's me, Monty Ashley. I'm playing Melek, the tiefling wizard. Uh, next up, it's Sarah Barber. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hey, uh, I'm playing Rizwin, the Dwarven Cleric. And last but not least, Jason Snell. It's because Steve's least, right? I didn't say it. Okay. But usually but I'm we last, all, too. We, we can all do the math in our head. I am playing Peter Dragonforge, and he is fully healed, but he's lost a lot of blood in this adventure and is out of healing surges, so uh, nobody uh, hit him too hard, I guess. That's right. Peter Dragonforge. His name is on the podcast. We aren't allowed to do it without him. He's got a good agent. Uh, you have discovered uh, the key from the Hall of Fire, the key from the Chamber, the Sanctum of Vials, and the key from the Chamber of Blood. I count three keys among you. Two of them have already been placed in the foyer, uh, on the L and I tiles, uh, for you have... Uh, I thought it was kind the F of, and uh, I tiles, actually. Uh, I may was. have placed I may have placed it, them in the wrong time. But I'm thinking maybe the next one should go on the L. Why not? I like L. Why didn't you say that before like I deleted that key? <laughs> yeah, Steve. Well, you can make more. Mm. Look at you. Oh, no, uh, you just moved all the letters. <laughs> Don't do oh, no. that. Guys, these letters are magic. They keep moving around. <laughs> Guys, maintain the illusion that I know what I'm doing. Um, so, uh, is that yes. our responsibility? That's asking a lot, Tony. <laughs> uh, Does L become the la- green? The last hour is always the hardest. Um, True. So, you place the key, uh, snap together from two half keys from the Chamber of Bloods on the L tile, and it too close. A pleasing green color. Nice. Three keys placed, three tiles glowing. What will you do next? Hmm. Well, there's one hallway left. Can I slide down it, please? It's probably so, icy. I recommend we go back to visit our turtle friends. I, or I turtle recommend, enemies. I recommend we take a that nap. That one turtle is just going to starve. Aww. Somebody will get no, him out. There's still lizard folk down there. Plus is still sad. I feel like that was the chieftain's pet anyway. He'll be back to help him out feed him i hope so to the ice thing whatever it is <laughs> to the <Sorry>. ice thing <laughs> do we not want to the ice, ice thing, thing. <laughs> thanks jason to the ice thing, ice thing. i'm, I'm here, looking here. at the door so all no right thing. let's solve this fourth puzzle i got a 17 on perception to look at the door the door appears 
untrapped and unlocked. Lest I forget to say it later, since we may be spelling lift here, I think everybody should probably stand on the tiles before we put the third or fourth key on the yeah. T. <laughs> <laughs> I would love it if this adventure ended with us just sta- standing sadly as we watch the elevator <laughs> yeah. leave. We, with Murray's hat, Murray on it, right? That's <laughs> late, wait, 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 later, wait. suckers! <laughs> it can be I can't flipped. stop it, I don't know how it works. Goodbye! As long as we're not Maybe it'll make us all filk. fly. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fizzy lifting Slim. drinks. Um, all right. So, Flessa, you've inspected the door. What next? Can I, can I open the door? Can I open it? <laughs> I'm just yeah, trying sure. to imagine Murray feebly trying to burp so he could come right. back down. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I have been given permission, so I ease open the door and peek forward. Peek in. What's all in right. there? So, so this is a den of ice, apparently. You know, are they going to be bears? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Can they be cuddly? <laughs> I like bears. Wrong kind uh, of den. It's like, gonna happen. Snuggle the family. Oh, is it like a TV room with like yeah. a pool Wait. table? <laughs> is it <laughs> Peter's basement? <laughs> it used are, to be a rumpus room, but then Dad uh, took it. Uh, are we gonna do our right. uh, floating floating Murray down the hallway trick again? You can see uh, down the hallway. The hallway. This hallway seems shorter than the hallway to the Chamber of Blood for whatever reason. That's just a trick um, of the eye. The hallway goes. They ran out uh, of budget for the remodel. Yeah, <laughs> goes, the hallway goes to the uh, to the northwest and kind of turns a little bit, and you can see just around the corner. It does not look like it goes more than ten feet before there is a large set of stone double doors. Double doors. Are we sending Murray, or can I go down the hallway? You can go down the hallway. I don't think Murray opened that Somebody door. Somebody said so. it. I, I okay, rolled. Do it. I rolled the ten to ch- check for traps. So you feel confident that you see no traps. No problem. <laughs> Should we like it's bundle great. up or something since we're going down the hall of ice right it now? It does feel it starts to feel cold. Huh. You know, maybe they just have like a really good air conditioner and it's set like a little high. Uh, I look at this door and I get a twenty-five. Uh you inspect the door. It is very artfully crafted. They're all it is kind of carved out of two large pieces of white stone to form the double doors. There's all kinds of ornate ice imagery carved into it, and the door is quite cold to the touch. This door is cold. Is it locked? It appears unlocked and untrapped. Can I open it? Yes. Murray, sure. you stay there. I heard it. yes. I opened locked the door. or trapped any of these doors. It's almost like they want us to solve these puzzles. Well, yeah, because that last one, they wanted us to just go in and take our blood. Yep. All right, Flessa, you open the door revealing the den of ice. This decent sized octagonal chamber uh, has a notable occupant. In the center of the chamber, there is a large uh, well, I guess medium-sized dragon. I should have, See, I, I need to shirt. Dragon. 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 I should have, I should have prepared a better description. Uh, <laughs> a large medium-sized dragon. Shirt. I don't know what to mean. <laughs> medium-sized dragon. Medium-sized dragon. The, the problem is when he orders like pants, he can't decide whether he wants the large or the medium because although he's a large medium-sized dragon, the medium pants don't fit very well. But the large See, pants the- are a little bit baggy. Are dragon the, pants really like child <laughs> pants in that they only come in medium and large? They're like parachute 45 pants. 45 minutes yeah. later. <laughs> that's, that's right, Steve. They are like that. Okay. I think you guys are funnier in the third hour, but I'm so much angry. <laughs> <laughs> I was cheering your dragon. I yeah. So in the middle Somebody of this octagonal to. chamber is perched the unmoving form of a young white dragon posed in a fearsome stance. A glinting object hangs from a silver chain around the dragon's neck, scattered around the chamber, kind of all about this dragon, are warriors and monsters uh, that appear to be frozen in ice. Uh, you Just opening the door, it was already chilly in this hallway, but a blast of cold air hits your faces. Does the dragon appear to be moving, or is it also no, frozen? No, he appears like frozen in kind of a dramatic pose, as if he is rearing up to attack. Mage hands. Yeah, that sounds fine. Uh, is anybody yeah. is if is, is anybody bored with mage hands? Want to do something else, or well, should we so just try mage hand? I always like the mage hand. I'm right, going to uh, back up so the mage hand. Ray could probably right. scoop up a key in his eye socket or something. It kind of glows. Glowing's neat. That's but I'll get key. out of the way. Uh, Tony. Mm-hmm. I would like to summon Mage Hand. Uh, do you want to give him a name? 
Handy. Uh, uh Mandy. Uh, uh, can I can't pull it. <laughs> Pander, <laughs> somebody else. Somebody else. Uh, Wences. I'm naming him Senior uh, Wences. It's all right. It's all right. Henderson. It's all right. <laughs> Melik, I have uh, recreated the hand. You should be able to move them around the map if I did it correctly. All right. I'm moving the hand into the place. <laughs> All right. Harry hand. Akrid has taken, uh, taken a stance in, in front of the door. I will drift the hand up towards the uh, dragon. All right. The, ha- the hand snakes through the various uh, creatures that are frozen in kind of their... their- coated in ice and snow. Uh, the first two creatures it passes by look like they're kind of skeletal warriors. Uh, just off to the uh, north of the hand, there's kind of a heroic looking paladin with a big war hammer. He looks very stern, but also very frozen. Uh, all kinds of monsters and heroes arranged around this icy dragon. Before the hand reaches there, its unmoving. destination, I'd like to try a perception check to see if I can identify that some of these are maybe not as frozen as they appear to be. All right. Uh, and that is a 21. They seem pretty frozen. None of them are here to be faking it. Is that what you're asking? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to I'm going to roll Arcana to see if I can discern what's going on here. That's a 19. Uh, there does not appear to be anything inherently arcane about this. I mean, um dragons are natural magical beasts it does it is unusual for them to be frozen like a statue it does not appear to be a statue it appears to be a dragon just not one that's moving so yeah, yeah frozen I'll tell you that's what you see frozen ice dragon seems out of character mm. yeah is there anything sparkly or shiny in the room besides the, besides the key yeah there's something sparkling shi- it's the key hanging from its uh okay well uh, i'm i'm aware chain. that the the mage hand is going for that key, so we will have the key soon enough. I will. I will I say hope. just to clarify, like the dragon is frozen in a fearsome stance, whereas the other creatures and uh, are scattered around the room are more not in like blocks of ice, but like coated in snow and frost. So they are like frozen in ice, whereas the dragon appears more stuck in time. How's that? Mm. Okay. I feel bad for some of these people who are frozen. Oh. Should we try to? I'm gonna. Me. I'm gonna ha- hold up. I'm gonna bring Murray up and say, "Do you recognize any of these frozen people?" Mm. Ooh, good one. <laughs> nice. Uh oh, Diedrich over there. Wait, is Etats here too? Uh, uh, I don't see him. Oh. He 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 kind he of was probably in the I don't know, blood. I, it's unclear how how Murray would motion, but you get the sense that he's looking at um an archer over on the uh um northern side of the chamber so these are the victims over hundreds of years that have been frozen by whatever is in this chamber perhaps the dragon perhaps something else probably the, yes. probably the dragon comes unfrozen in time when you try to grab the key out of its mouth probably or when you or when you enter it looks like most of them are on the door side of the room fair point do we do we have enough healing surges to uh fight a dragon if the dragon happens to come awake probably no. not dragons are notoriously tough should we take yeah. a nap and then come back I'd like to get out of here. Yeah. Well, if we could steal the key and close the doors and run to the, the to the chamber, maybe we could just get out of here. Right. So then maybe have thirteen people tiles who are to try. Less. That shouldn't take long. Uh, fast. Maybe go hang out on the the key thing. Mm. Akrid won't do that though, because she's gonna stay and guard people. Plus, she's sure. dragony. Okay. Mm. She may have some sway if this thing wakes up. Yeah. Mm. Is everybody ready for me to try grabbing this key? Yes, says Akrid. I'm ready. Sure, go for it. I grabbed the key. Wait. (laughs) Wait, I was ready. Do you want to mark the key as your quarry first? Is that what you're going to (laughs) do? Okay. I want to get a better look at it. I'm going to bring the hand back, pick up Murray, and then bring Murray into the room. I I don't I don't I don't know if I like this idea," says Murray. <laughs> quiet, quiet. Murray, I just want you to look at the neck, the thing that's holding the key. See if there's a clasp or anything. Uh, so you're gonna float Murray in there. Also, yeah. was Diedrich a wealthy adventurer? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> just out of curiosity. <laughs> I mean, they, some of the adventures frozen in ice look uh, like they are, you know, quite heroic and uh, have some some good stuff in there. But they are kind of all, you know, in blocks of ice. So, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, Murray inspects the, well, we have uh, the fire key. hall, too. Um, the key looks, uh, Murray, you turn Murray around. He's like, you know, it's on like a nice silver chain. Uh, I don't think it'd be too hard to break. The key looks like it's really cold. That's weird, right? Uh, in a room full of frozen people? Not yeah, really. Yeah, because I don't know what looking mm. like something's cold how means. Often do, how often do things look cold? Like it's emanating cold. Hmm. Should we wrap hmm. it in? we want to do some poop? arcana on the key itself? Yeah. Uh, do I know anything about why that would be with my vast knowledge of arcane nonsense? You suspect that a key that is emanating cold is magic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. All right. I bring Murray back out. Get over mm. here. You've done great work. I'm about to grab the key. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I grab the key. You grab the key. The mage hand hold closes around the uh, the kind of it's it's kind of a silvery, almost kind of blue, uh, hinted to the uh, metal key. The mage hand feels the immortal pain. mage hand. Mm. The immortal mage hand Thank feels you. pain as cold burns through it. This mage hand, uh, Melik, yeah, give, give me a Constitution check. My constitution? Yeah. Okay, well, I have a constitution of 11, so I think that's just a straight die roll, if I remember the rules correctly. 14. It, like, it, 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 for some reason, it's like, it is harder than usual for you to maintain, to sustain the mage hand. Like, you are not experiencing, (laughs) like, you are not taking damage, but it's like, you know that the mage hand is feeling pain. Uh, but no mechanical. Senor Wences, no, no mechanical <laughs> Sorry. Ill effects Sorry. for now. Uh, Melek may be a little bit distracted by that, so it might be a beat before uh, he notices what everybody else notices, which is the ice dragon has slightly changed in its its stance and is looking down at all of you and is rolling initiative. Cool. Yeah, boy. Just gonna add him to the turn I feel order. Like that nap might have been a better idea than we all thought. That was a choice. Yep. I, Everybody okay. gets plus two to their initiative because we are close to acrid. Yay. Are we re-rolling? Yeah, you should re-roll. I okay. guess so. I, I got an 11. That's much worse oh, than my dear. last one. I got a 29. That's better than your last one. I got you a want rock. Melek to go fast, so that's good. Guys, we're fighting a dragon. Cool. You wanted this. Literally you asked, cool. You people asked for this. I mean... I didn't. I wanted to take a nap. Somebody wanted dungeon. Somebody picked dragon. I picked dungeon. For the I record, there's a record. Good to be fair, I did pick both. Firestorm arrows are going to be deployed here for those who are going to run in and attack closely. Just so you know, you might get a little bit of fire damage. I will tell you, Steve. I don't think anybody uh, should run in there. I'll just tell you this now because I always think it's a weird thing in fourth edition, but it's a thing. I think it's true in fifth edition too. Ice, various ice creatures and fire creatures. Like, they don't necessarily care about the opposite. What? Yeah. This is not Pokemon? It it is Pokemon, but Pokemon has lots of weird, unexpected... A a white dragon is probably... Will basically probably is immune to cold damage or extremely resistant to it, but it is not vulnerable to fire damage. Well, that's stupid. I mean, your fire arrows still do more damage than your regular arrows, right? Yeah. I mean, they're still arrows on fire. Let me just say, Wizards of the Coast have gone way downhill since certain people left. I mean, if we we are playing this- a version of the game that dates from, I think, like a decade ago, if you'd like to write to them. <laughs> that was before I left. Yeah. Mm. So this is my So it's fault. your fault. <laughs> no, yeah. D&D, D&D has gone uphill since I left. <laughs> yeah. good, good job, Monty. You knew when to get out. So, uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, if we can get the key out of here and just slam the door, maybe we don't have to fight a dragon. Yeah. That totally Oops. looks like a door that would keep a dragon in. Is, um, like rolled real high. Is, have you, and did the mage hand have any? Is it is it able to pull the thing? Oh yeah, you've got it. The, the mage hand has the key. Oh great, let's run yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, has everyone put in their initiative? Yep. Y'all. All and right. Accurate. All right, Melik, you are first. <laughs> <laughs> it's going on four. Uh, and fourteen ooh. apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going first. I will 
move <laughs> the key over here and okay. then uh, move it down. Can can it close the door behind it as it Grab leaves, it and like run. with the back of it? A, a mage hand. hand carrying a key cannot close the door. Okay. I will. <laughs> there are limits to magic. <laughs> I mean, keys, put, doors are not that hard to close. It's can I drop one fist? magic hand holding it. <laughs> <laughs> can I drop? I am the dungeon master. <laughs> this is the only place where I have drawn a line. I have let you do so much shenanigans with rope right, for yeah, years. I'm, I'm getting the rope out. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, give me this one. Uh, did you have a question, Monty? <laughs> yes. Can I drop the key? Hmm. Is the key still looking cold? Is it, yeah. it still? Oh. In that case, I'll just uh, you got robes. There's got to be folds in there. You can <laughs> move pockets it down and whatnot here. Move it down here and drop it down to the end of the. Do hall. you have? Did you have enough movement to move it that far? Move and then standard action. Yeah. All right. So it's 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 clattered on the floor there. Yeah. You want me to, you want me to put a key there? Yes, please. I mean, you could take it all the way to the T square and watch the elevator <laughs> rise up <laughs> while we all stand in the hallway getting frozen to death. It's an option. This is the world we create together where you guys make choices. That no, no, I think that's as far as he can take it, right? It's five squares. Yeah. yeah that's, All right. That's, that's blue fine. even. I, wow. I, put, I put a blue key there. Hold on. I got it. What was the last key that you added? Uh, oh, the L. L. Hold on. Hold on. This, this one is this, a blue key. This, the other one this is more half a key. That, this, this is great <laughs> for our, our, uh, our listeners. For the audio listeners who are not listening to it. But by the way, while we're talking about things you can see, you can always check our YouTube channel where all episodes are posted in video form. And they're huh. also embedded and linked to in the show notes for the audio episode. Wow. And if you become a member, you can subscribe to the video podcast of the episodes. There are so many ways to get Total Party Kill. But Although Jason, I have to tell what, you, what you can make up in your imagination is probably far better than what you're going to see. Almost certainly. Oh, guess again. I was ruined by MTV as a child. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have spent 30 seconds uh, giving the keys different colors, Great. which which only the players care about. And when I say they care about, I mean, one of them I will can't even protect. see them. Yep. Yeah, one of them is completely invisible now. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I am uh, dropping the key, but keeping the... Uh, Mage hand there. That is the end of my turn. Pray continue. All right. Flessa, you are up next. You stand near the doorway to the Den of Ice, safely behind Acrid. But there is a very large, rather concerned looking dragon staring down all of in the direction of all of you. I want to close the door. All right. You're going to need to move forward and close the door. Yep. Yep. Hold on. Oh, nothing. Close the door. Nothing. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Wonder how this will go. And then, and then run uh, the other way. Unfortunately, I can't because in fourth edition, well, no, I could. It. Well, I mean, it's not a standard action to close a door. Is it's it? That's a minor action. A minor. No, okay. A minor. Uh, then yeah, run I can just it. turn and run. All uh, right. Walk. One, two, three, four. Purposefully really walk. Buck bunching up on that hallway there you want Love to kick, it? kick the key into the other room while you're there <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't want to Fl kick it under the right place and then if it is an elevator it's yeah. just cooked up <laughs> all of us and we're stuck fighting a awesome. dragon <laughs> yeah the dragon is like why'd you guys do that <laughs> <laughs> um, Peter Dragonforge you're next <laughs> all those people were frozen when people walked back in to say how do I get the elevator back <laughs> Guys, we put the key on a chain so this wouldn't happen. <laughs> I, I, uh, like I, a gas station bathroom. I turn, yeah. scoop up Murray, and go back into the other room. All right. I'll you are taken. now safely far from the dragon that will murder your remaining friends. Yep. yep. Um, all right. So why, why you know, is Akron I have a good authority that dragons can't open doors, so we're all All good. right. So I will tell you. Um, the dragon gets to go twice in the initiative order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that doesn't seem fair. On the first time it goes, it can't do as much. How do you like that? Yeah. I, I, I can't like open it. doors anyway. It can only, it can only rampage. Um, <laughs> fun. <laughs> Sorry, <Holy> Nick. <laughs> um, let me just check its speed. One, Negative four. Two, three. <laughs> 
you don't see it, but it's really cool for I see it with my dungeon master powers. Inside the room, the ice dragon smashes through the icy remains of uh, its previous victims. It smashes through the doors, Ooh. and uh, it oh, is hi. it is in the hallway amidst you. That's so does Akron get an attack at it? Indeed, it will provoke attacks from Acrid and from Melek, <laughs> um, but it is also using uh, claw attacks on Acrid and and, it's Malik. Okay, and it can move through. Uh, yep, it squares. can for this attack. Wow! All right, is it two sizes larger than us? That doesn't seem right. It's yeah. I mean, it okay. takes up two squares. That's twenty-four versus AC. Uh, that will hit for Acrid. Right. Acrid takes a clip out of it. Yep, uh, a clip that is ten. All right, Melek, do you want to do a melee basic against it? You want to like swing your orb at it? <laughs> you bet I do. Eight is its AC uh, less than eight? Its lace AC is, uh, I would say, a good deal more than eight. Yeah. Um, um, how nice for it? Yes. All right. So the ice dragon has crashed through the doors. The doors are no more. Um, the uh, I guess I should uh, open the doors again. <laughs> Guys, I you love that part. You should remove them entirely, right? Uh, there's a hole in the map underneath them. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, it has rampaged basically through the spaces occupied by Melek and Acrid, and it is like a freight train coming down the hall at you that has just enough move to get there. It passes by Acrid. Melek, you are like pressed up against the wall, sharing space with a dragon. Alestrin, it stops just short of you. Uh, but as it does this rampage attack, it gets to do a claw attack on Melek and a claw attack on Acrid. No. Acrid. Uh, that's not very impressive. 11 versus AC. Nope. Malik. Dragon on Dragonborn. Critical. Ouch. Uh-oh. I don't Malik, like this. Malik, can you mm. do anything about this attack, or should I tell you what the damage is? Well, if it's definitely hitting, I mean, you didn't tell me a number or anything. Uh, the number would be 28 versus AC. Uh, I can't do anything about that. All right. You are going to take it. W it would do 20 claw damage to you. I am bloodied. <gasps> you took the damage? He does that. Melek has he never done that. Melek has never seen his own blood. No, that's it happens not occasionally. True. <laughs> and it's always very scary. He always gets accused of never being here. Guys, hit, but a, a dragon just bloodied a wizard. This is what you signed up for. <laughs> No, we wanted it the other way around. Oh, well, too bad. Acrid <laughs> is next. Acrid is unfortunately now uh, <laughs> on the basically wrong side of the dragon. on the wrong side of the dragon. Which side of the dragon is the wrong side? The side between you and <laughs> the, the magic elevator? Her mother's side or her yeah. father's side is the question. Mm. <laughs> So stay on the outside. Yeah, uh, I, I'm given to believe that a a Akrid's mother yeah, is, Peter. is a dragon. He's the one who has some inside is. things. <sighs> Gross. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, Akrid has and Akrid for that matter. Had, uh, combat advantage, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, there's no you know, like. I feel like probably. I, yeah. yeah. Way to find thinking. the uh, silver lining, people. <laughs> Mel Melik and Alestrin are not like huge. Uh, Melee fighters. Oh, I should say, no. Malik, no. Malik, you were knocked prone also. Ah! Dunk. Um, Sound effects. Yeah. Totally I, let's, oh, man, the way this is set up, a shift wouldn't even help Melek because there's nowhere to shift to. Not really. Because the dragon's, like, in his square. Uh, yeah, that's not helpful. Ew. Hmm. Consult the player's handbook for what to do when being murdered by a dragon. Yeah, like it's it's the, it says here tactically die. it's weird because he's sharing yeah. this. Yeah, which means probably dragon breath would be a bad idea <laughs> for Akrid because it would. The dragon is very big. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Akrid could fire dragon breath just north, which would yeah, hit the dragon actually, and not the Melek. I feel like idea. there's a variety of ways if Akrid wanted to spew acid that yeah. the dragon is quite big, that you can totally target the dragon without targeting Melek. Mm, I think I think that, that that's not the best use of a minor action. I think Akrid's minor action is going to be an inspiring word for Melek. So, oh, uh, thank yeah. you. Melek can take a healing surge. 
assuming, do you have any healing surges left? You probably yeah. do. Yeah, oh, sure do. I don't even know how they work is how many healing surges <laughs> I have. <laughs> how long have we been playing this game? <laughs> Once every six months. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yep. Uh, so you get to take your healing surge value plus one. Um, and then that spends one of your healing surges. So you have one less surge. Yep. And um, you may no longer be bloodied. But you have a jolt and a uh, <laughs> orange on. slice. Okay. And I am going to try using devastating offensive. Squirt. Surge. What did you call me? <laughs> Gain nine, which will put me at... 21, I am no longer bloodied. Neat. Ugh, it's almost a 20. It rolled to a 2. I am so bad at using accurate to do anything useful. Uh, I'm guessing a... That was useful. 13. Yeah, except for healing. Uh, except for uh, in battle. A 13 is probably not going to hit the dragon's AC. Uh, no. Okay. Then... Uh, that's it for Acrid because I guess you can't really move through the dragon square. The dragon can only move through her square. Is that how that works? If it's um, two sizes larger, she can go through it. Yeah, you can go through it. It just, it would provoke. Oh, um, I feel like that is a very acrid thing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, worried. you are flanking here. I don't know if you want to be uh, on the other oh, wait, side. That's of right. Flanking Uh, 15. Wouldn't that's not going to last for long. But armor sure. class, would it? No. Uh, 15. Okay. Um. Yeah, like I feel like if we could run and get the heck away, that would be better. But uh, I'll just I'll just mention dragons are also known that sometimes they can fly and climb elevator shafts. Yeah, I have a special no, reason. No reason. No reason. They're known Fair. for climbing elevator shafts. <laughs> yes. I think right. I think we need to kill this dragon. They yeah. call they some people call dragons the raccoons of the dungeon. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a regional expression. All right. Uh, is there anybody else that would like to move this. right now that would uh, that would be helpful for their next turn? Elustrian might to move away. Um, I can, uh, like if you'd I like can, to be able to shift away, so that I you can, can shoot do that it. anyway. As long as Rizwin isn't that in that square at the end of her turn, so I will be moving. I wouldn't probably waste it on to me right here. Okay. All right. Then you know what? I think uh, Accurate is just gonna stay put um yeah i don't think there's anything smart that she can do at this point so all right rizwin you see um, you can't really see accurate anymore Melek is pressed up against the wall and there is a dragon in your vicinity yeah uh you, you, this, are, this... you see a dragon and you are running toward the dragon yeah this calls for cylinder's hammer because i'm not gonna let my friends die um 14 versus ac is not very good not very um, good. Dragons are super tough. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I'm going to cast Healing Word, however, on Malik so he can spend another Healing Surge. Oh, delightful. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, you get an extra four hit points from that. Excellent. I am back up to full. Hooray. Uh, I don't have my dailies left because we didn't rest, uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to hang out. I'm All done. right. Um... Who is next? Alestrin well, is next. Yes, indeed. Alestrin is going to perform a nimble strike, which means he gets to shift one square mm -hmm. before performing an attack. So he will shift over here. Alestrin, I'm going to be very generous to you. What's does your favorite reach... place to get rocks? <laughs> My favorite place to get rocks? I think yeah. it should be the quarry. No, I I really prefer and the if you were And if you were going to like buy some rocks, what would you call that? Um, like at a shopping place, like bizarre? a bazaar. I was thinking a more mall? like a like a market. Oh, the quarry market. Yeah, are you going to suggest I mark this this creature as my quarry before taking? Oh, a, uh... what an idea! <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to do it. The giant monster in front of you. Yeah. Now, uh, do you have the ability to shift more? Um, Is does he have a reach? Is that what you're telling me? He he doesn't have threatening reach, so I guess it doesn't matter. If he had threatening reach, he could get you. But he does have reach, but he does not have threatening reach. What is so, the difference there? Uh, if you moving away from him, you are still within range if you back up, um, but you don't provoke. 
So right. he so, can still so if I bolt you. from this square after I make an attack, I'm good, right? You're saying I can leave his, I can leave this square without provoking opportunity yes. attack. Gotcha. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna you you are in that square. You are not provoking him, but he could still hit you on his turn if he so chose. Right. He but may, I'm not going he to may be not in that. Cho- he may not choose to do that. I'm not going to be in that square at the end of this turn. All right. Good, <laughs> Just good choices for future reference. So this is my nimble strike after having made that guy my quarry. So. That is a 25 versus AC. Okay. I gather that this hits. This is the second hit on the Ice Dragon. Acrid clipped it as it, you know, rampaged mm-hmm. past her. All right. That is a 13 damage. All right. Plus quarry damage. That includes the quarry damage. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, um, that's. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Acrid, no, that's a. Acrid uh, should have done one more AC. point of damage uh, will, because of her armor. Down. All right. Noted. And, and mine should have been 17 versus AC because this is not a twin strike that <laughs> well, I. Well, now you're making the math hard. So <laughs> I'm doing four more because you said 13 and 17. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. This is going to take a while, people. You know what dragons have? Lots of hit points. Hit points. You yeah. know what you guys don't have as many of? Hit Healing points. Healing surges. Hit points. Yeah. The thing. Oh, oh, both. <laughs> so. Right. All right, Alester, anything else? Yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to get down to the other end of the hall and outside the doors. <laughs> Do you want to close these double doors behind no, you? No, I think I'll keep these double doors where they're at. All right. I will, however, let Peter know that there is a dragon currently attacking people down that end of the hall. Are any of you going to grab this key that I left on the uh, floor? We'll get to it. We're watching right. it. <laughs> We're okay. waiting for it to cool down it, a little it bit. It looks cold. It, cool it, it does kind of sizzle with cold fire energy. All right. Next up is the dragon. This is the dragon's actual turn, not its rampage turn. Good, good times. Uh, he has so many things that he I could don't like do. Um, let's see. He could do. He could breathe ice on you. He could claw attack you. Um, I think that he is focused on that wizard for whatever reason. Um, he is going to do two claw attacks. On Melek, because two claw attacks could take Melek out. So, Melek, claw attack number one. Which I will Mm -hmm. attempt to disrupt. All right. Do you want to know the number first? Or we had that conversation. I I don't know how that works. I think we decided that we couldn't do that. Okay. Unless you want to do that, I'm happy Mm -hmm. to listen to the number first. Um, I think I have announced the attack and you are disrupting it. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, 28 versus AC. Roll me that damage for that disrupting shot. So the dragon is lunging for Melek with its fearsome claws, but an arrow whistles between its claws and its its face, and it's distracted, and it gets nicked in the cheek for... And I can only take quarry damage once per round, so that's not mm. happening. But here comes... <laughs> it's a one, so that's eight damage, mm-hmm. but decrease six from his attack. Ooh, six. Uh, let's see. That is going to be a 13 versus AC, Melek. You know, that will not hit me. Swoops in your direction, and you're, like, pressed against the dungeon wall, trying to avoid it. That was claw attack number one. Claw attack number two uh, is even worse. 19 versus AC? Oh. <sighs> Can't do nothing about that one. I'm going to cast shield. Okay. Shield! Okay. Really... There it is! <laughs> I'd rather have used that when it could pl- stop two attacks, but it's fine. Uh, that <laughs> brings my AC up to 22. Oh, well, I can take back that disruptive strike. No, no, it's fine. Like. It's fine. It's, it's fine. It's <laughs> claws tear through an ethereal shield that it places in front of Melek and gets kind of tangled up in that, and it does not hit you. The dragon is quite frustrated. How frustrated is he? So frustrated that he is going to do Go back a- in his room and go to sleep. Use an action point, no. and it turns and looks for somebody, something to attack. It sees I'm right here. Keep Rizwin. Cool. Do you want and to keep attacking you? I'll let well, you. Yeah, is- that that will let me get more juice out of my shield spell. So absolutely. <laughs> okay, I was willing to spread it around, but if you're, and we'll say, intimidating it with your uh, waving Melix, your arms around, yeah, your orb and your fiendish eye contact, and the dragon is happy to go for you. Fiendish eye contact. It's a it's a monster. It's a beast. It's it's willing to you know be baited. So this is an action point. It is two more claw attacks coming from Melek. AC twenty two at this point. 
All right. Well, 17 is traditionally less than 22. I am not rolling well on this horrible dragon Good for monster. You. Good. Keep it up. It's okay. Oh, but 27 is. Ooh, that is high. All right. Hold on. Some, I would like to disrupt damage. that attack, but I can't. can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> you do, but you'd like to. Stated for the record, the record shall so reflect. Well, uh, Melek, welcome to more damage. Melek, you are tanking. You take nine damage, or I am dealing nine damage to you. You can decide what to do with it. Um, I will take it. All right. Wow. Okay, I have used one action Where have you been all this time? On the front line, (laughs) wizard. Back back row. (laughs) (laughs) I know, I'm back here too most of the time. (laughs) Just great. Yeah. Melek, it's your turn. You're squeezed up against the wall by this large icy On dragon floor, right? that has been right. trying. Oh yeah, you're prone. The drag- dragon knocked you pr- uh. off your feet at one point. All right, I know we've asked this several times. Mm. What is the status of the last time we took a long rest? Uh, a long it's been time a, ago. A long time ago. Do you want to do it now? <laughs> <laughs> I might take the longest rest. No, I'm just trying to determine if I have my daily power back. The last I time I tried yeah. using it. No. Okay. No. I don't think we do. I think I think Akron might still have hers. Yeah, it's somebody else, not me. I'm gonna cast Maze of Mirrors on this guy. What? That's a, that's an encounter don't... power. He lives in a den of ice, not a Maze of Mirrors. He, that's what he thinks. But I will envelop my enemy in an illusory labyrinth of mirrors, which conceals the world around him. It's a burst one within ten squares. So I'm just mm-hmm. gonna do it in this uh, square yep. over here. Uh, well, that might hit Akron. Hang on. D- it's each creature. Where mm. can I do a burst one that only hits the dragon? I don't think you can. I can't. I don't, th- I don't think you can because of the narrow confines Curses. of this hallway. That is awful because it's such a good spell in this situation. On a you, could, of it. you could, you could drop it on yourself so that it hits you and the dragon. Do you want it, M- M- Melik? Do you want uh-huh. to be trapped in a maze of mirrors with a dragon? <laughs> Akrid would probably say, it's okay, you can hit me, but I, I worry about doing that to George's that, character when she's not here. This isn't damage, it's immobilization. Oh, gosh. Sh- wait, immobilization means you can't attack, right? Well, this is, immo- no, it means you can't move. Move. But it's, this Akrid is immobil- would be fine with that. But this is immobilized at a minus four penalty to attack rolls. Oh. Mm-hmm. Akrid would be fine with that. All right, then I'm going to cast Maze of Mirrors, targeted just, right here. Okay. I was just going to mention, Malik, immobilization, I don't think stops teleportation. Um, I know. All right. <laughs> so you are casting a maze of mirrors. Should I draw that shape in the, on the map? Is it, yeah, it's it, only is it gonna... until the end of my next turn. Okay. And it is intelligence versus will. Fourteen. Uh, wait. Oh, intelligence versus will. That's so right. What what is the will of a young, a young white dragon? It is higher than fourteen. So well, is Akrid's. Okay, then I get the miss effect, which is the target is slowed until the end of your next turn. All right, sure. And I shall now take my move. Now uh, the dragon can take a swipe at you as you go. It sure can. Okay, just, just um, checking. I will mention at this point that the shield effect lasts until the end of my next turn, so my yeah. AC is still 22. I'm getting are, all you, the juice I can out nice. of this. Yeah, you really you really got your money's worth out of that. Uh, so actually, it looks like his at will that he would do uh, is a bite attack. Okay, that's fun. Uh, that's not great. That is 23 versus AC. That's higher than my fancy AC right it now. Is, it is. Unfortunately, I need a bunch of dice for this one. Oh, oh no. Boy. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. No, I mean, I rolled I roll 2d10 and I got a 1 and a 2. And then oh. I rolled the third one. Uh, you are going to take 11 cold damage as he, like, takes a chunk out of your leg. And you are running, dribbling, not that much blood, but some blood. You know, your your wound immediately cauterizes from the cold uh, as the, the dragon has now had a taste of you. Did okay. anybody happen to uh, find a potion of reassemble wizard in the sanctum <laughs> of vials earlier? I am not quite bloodied. Excellent. That is the end of my turn, and the dragon is slowed until my next turn, which means it has a move of one, I think. I think it's two. Maybe two. That's still pretty slow. All right. Unless it teleports. 
Flessa, you are uh, in the hallway, uh, in the doorway between the the room of keys, scattered with keys all over the floor, mm -hmm. and the hallway where Rizwin and Akrid are fighting a dragon by themselves. Uh, Flessa doesn't like that, so she's running up there, and she's going to run, run up to this dragon. You run toward the dragon. You are flanking the dragon with I am Acrid. totally flanking the dragon. Um, Flank the dragon. Yep. Flank gonna it. I'm going to do a low slash, which is a minor action. And you know what? I'm switching dice. I've been rolling very poorly. I'm using. I'm going to use the other sparkly die for Flessa. That is... Is a hell of a lot better. That is a nineteen on the die. Mm -hmm. That's Thirteen. A hit. I that darn well better hurt. Uh, it's against reflex. Yep. All right. What's the damage? And the damage is. And you have sneak attack. I do. So that is to start with. It is eight plus six is fourteen plus seven is twenty one. Wow. Strikers, yep. 21 damage, and that was just your low slash, right? Correct, yep. So now you've got a uh, mm -hmm. sly flourish or something coming up? Uh, it's not going to be a sly flourish. It's going to be an acrobatic strike because I don't oh. want to be right next to the dragon oh, so, anymore. So you ran toward the dragon, <laughs> stab it low, yep. stab it high, and then acrobat out. And then hop away. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, so that is a 27. That, that will hit. And? I will say, though this dragon is rather fearsome, anything in the 20s is going to hit. Well, and, it's you know, 10 more uh, And some points. of its defenses are lower than others. 10 more hmm. points of damage. All right. And then I shift away. All right. Which, it may still be able to hit me, but Flessa doesn't necessarily know that. Peter Dragonforge, you are in the room with the... Hopefully, magic elevator, keys on the floor, and you are leaving back yes. into the hallway. Back into the hallway. You see a dragon, a dragon that needs forging, and you run toward the dragon. Indeed, I do. I do, and I'm going to take a swipe at him. It's going to be uh, 24 versus AC. Yes, you plunge your dagger in the direction of the dragon's torso. Seventeen damage, and Ouch. he is subject to my divine sanction until the end right. of uh, my next turn. He must attack me. The ice dragon is next. If you're all done, Peter, I'm done. The ice dragon is taking his rampage turn. He will move. His speed is a free action. Two his speed squares. Is, ah, his speed was six. Mm. His speed is less than six. <laughs> One, two. He moves through Rizwin, Peter, and Flessa, clawing and knocking you against the walls. All of you get a free attack on the dragon, and the dragon will attempt to claw you. If he hits you, you will knock you prone. Um, uh, 23 versus AC. Hit. Roll damage. 11. All right. I rolled a crit. Okay. Nice. Max damage. Uh, max damage. So that is 13. Also, does your sword do anything on a crit? Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, good work. Um, uh, Tony, on hit, yeah. uh, apparently Cylinder's Hammer, uh, the target, uh, if the dragon makes another attack, it uh, takes a penalty to the damage roll equal to my charisma modifier, which is two. So minus two. Uh, so it, does that to the next attack, or it attacks this turn total? Uh, the next attack the target makes before the end of my next turn. Okay. He's going to claw you, and he'll, if, or I guess, actually, I guess the next, he has to hit, right? Yeah. So an additional okay. additional two, so that's, uh, uh, whatever, 15 total. Sorry, I didn't total. put it, 15 total. Yeah. Um, I, Flessa? Uh, also hit it, my melee basic is really crappy, uh, so uh, it's like a 27 to hit, but uh, two damage. <laughs> Uh, it he seems unscathed. Um, mm -hmm. The dragon does three claw attacks on one on each of you. So Rizwin, um, this is a claw attack. Claw attack. Now, Rizwin, a sneak attack is once per turn, so that means I don't get it again until it's my next yeah. 
turn. So, okay. so Tony, does this count as individual attacks or is this one group attack? Um, it's individual attacks. Okay, then the first one it takes seven uh, radiant damage for attacking someone who is not me. Wait a minute. Once right. per turn means once per turn. So when your turn is over, if it's somebody else's turn, you can do it again. Yeah. If it's once, once per, per round, round. round. No, the way if, if it was a if if it was attacking us as a single attack, um, it includes me and it wouldn't get sanctioned. But if it's making three individual attacks and rolling three individual times, it is not including me on that first attack. And yeah. the first attack is sanctioned, and he'll take seven damage for clawing at anyone who's not me. Yeah. He doesn't care. So I've noted I've noted that damage. Extra seven. Yeah. All right. Rizwin, the dragon winces as it takes some radiant damage and claws in your direction. 17 verse AC is, doesn't sound too threatening. Does not hit me. All right. Peter Dragonforge, <laughs> clawing in your direction. Also, wow, this dragon. I'm going to switch dice in a second. This dragon is not very fearsome. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, he just 15 woke up. 15 verse AC. We know it doesn't hit <laughs> Peter Dragonforge. After and like 300 years. Flessa critical. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, critical damage on a claw attack is 20 damage. Uh, but I believe Gosh. Solonir's hammer was going to nerf the damage slightly. By minus two. Flessa, 18 damage. Hey, that's, that's still better. I'm, I'm definitely bloodied. Like, a lot. All right. Acrid? Uh... Crap, Akrid is slowed, but that doesn't matter. She can... Can she command totally. her strike? She can get somebody yep. else to fight, right? She can still she can still see it. No, it doesn't make sense to have Plessa do it because Plessa doesn't get sneak attack again right away. Um, she's only Peter, two away from the dragon, technically. She's also in a cool maze of mirrors that's her and the dragon and stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, she's like digging it. That. I just, um, just yeah, like Plessa, Akrid is like st stalking the mm -hmm. dragon in a maze of mirrors and like they're both trying to find each other and they're yeah. smashing the mirrors thinking they're attacking each other. And one of us is in a mankini. Is, she's going to step <laughs> forward and try devastating offensive again, um, which would let her and somebody else attack if I can actually be successful on a roll for her. Let's see. It's devastating and offensive. No, fifteen. <laughs> just like AC. Well, seventeen probably because she's flanking, Com right? Combat advantage with no. technically the mage hand, but like I don't think that counts. Uh, I don't think you have combat advantage on this. No, dragon. okay. Uh, then fifteen does not hit. But you're flanking. I mean. Peter and I are, t I don't know, like it's, it's standing on top of things. So it's hard to, to, yeah, I think like, I would say that Rizwin has combat advantage because of where, where Rizwin and Flessa are flanking the dragon. You need like a mm -hmm. line that connects the, between them. Right. There's so, a line. It's just that one of them's under the dragon's head. Yeah. Um, I'm going to mm -hmm. say that you don't have combat advantage. All right. Well, I say you do take that. Then, okay, she's definitely not going to use Dragon Breath because that would be really terrible right now. Um, mm -hmm. But she does have an inspiring word, which she's going to use for Flessa. <laughs> because she just saw Flessa take a lot of damage. So Flessa will be using her last uh, healing surge. And oh getting an additional six points, which is the best uh, I've done so far. Rizwin, are you up? I believe I am. Um, then I'm just going to Slendor Hammers it. Um, and I have combat advantage, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, Slendor's Hammer. Slendor's uh, Hammer is good because it's, I mean, it's going to keep hitting people. And if you could nerf that damage a little bit, it's um. That's true. Um, technically, that's only 15, which makes me sad. Uh, do I get any pluses from, like, Acrid? No, but if you use an action point, if you have one to hit it again. I don't have okay. one. Okay, then. Um, does so Acrid... 15, 15 verse AC doesn't hit uh, unless Acrid has some other bonus that Acrid provides. Acrid, mm -hmm. do you provide a bonus? <laughs> Sadly, no. Oh. Only if Acrid's the one telling you to attack. Just positive vibes. <laughs> okay, positive vibes only. Uh, then I uh, am not able to do that. Does anybody need a healing surge? Uh, I would not mind one. Uh, Melik, you can take a healing surge. Thank you. Uh, with plus seven. Oh my! Nice. Uh, okay, well that puts me back up to uh, wait. 
uh, that way, Paul. Still pretty good. Then I am done. You're done. Alestrin, you are next. Yes, I am. Well, I really like this business of it being slowed, especially as it's sort of coming down the corridor in my direction. I would say especially its rampage attack is pretty devastating. And when you slow it, you are greatly impeding the number of people it gets to rampage. So I'm going to step uh, one, two, three. Let's see. He can go two right now. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to step away back towards the doors to the Sanctum of Vials. And I'm going to attempt to hit it with a Hunter's Bear Trap. Ta-da! Which has rolled off into the distance. That was a 19 versus AC? 19 versus AC will hit a young white dragon. I love it. So that will do some damage, first of all, and some quarry damage as well. So three for the quarry, plus three, plus... Hold on. Yes. According to the fourth edition wiki, uh, opportunity attacks can happen multiple times per round. Oh, yeah, it's fifth edition where you only have one reaction. All right, we'll use it next time. Anyway, next time. Sorry. I'm curious now. I'll look at it later. Um, I did not do well on my rolls. I had a eight plus seven is uh, 15 damage. However, uh, because I hit with a hunter's bear trap, he is um, slowed and takes ongoing five damage. Save ends both. Nice. nice. I am putting the closest thing to a bear trap icon I have on the the, the uh, dragon. Um, fifteen damage, Riz. Uh, not Rizwin. Fifteen damage, Alestrian. Bloodies the white dragon. I like yeah. it. <gasps> okay, okay, we can do this. Red now and he's white. angry. Oh no! Uh, Good. And let me say, I need like a little box here that says "ongoing five hours." Angry leads to fear. Going, you're never gonna remember. <laughs> I've heard that. Um. Okay. Sorry, Alestrian. Anything else on your turn? Um. No, I've moved and I have taken an action, so I think that's it. All for right. Me. The Ice Dragon is next. Will he be able to take out one or more adventurers before he is slain? And you are finally able to figure out what to do with this mysterious iced key. Hint, it goes to the same place all the other keys go. Will our adventurers make it out of Undermountain alive? Will they be happy or annoyed that I finally made them fight a dragon here in this game we call Dungeons and Dragons for answers to questions such as these? Tune in next time to Total Party Kill. Thank you, and good night, nerds. (laughs) 